Well, we're really looking forward to seeing the highly touted, precocious former amateur, Yevgen Hitrov. Of 17 with that one draw. And uh, Hitrov unbeaten in 14. 12 knockouts. The 2012 Olympian who says he's hot on the heels of Gennady Golovkin, but he's taken three big right hands early in this first round, and those dreams could be going up in smoke. Emmanuel Alim with a terrific start this here. Could be he's, he's in big, big trouble. Can he hold on? Can he survive Hitrov? It's a real crisis. The first big problem in his professional career, and he's fighting through the fog. Hitrop there showing some real durability and solidness to his style. Took some clean blows there from Alim, taking more still. The stoppage is just seconds away. The referee having a really close look here. Tottering on the brink. Hitrov. Has he bided time? Alim swinging in the punches, but he was probably one shot away there from a dramatic first round upset victory the man from virginia what's it taken out of the pair of them what a start well i think Ali has just took his foot off the gas because he's in danger of blowing a gasket through a lot of power punches and you can't blame him because they was all landing any other referee adam may have stopped that under that attack because that was quite brutal looking hitroff taking a lot of punishment there what a tough tough man he is Hitrov and the uh, team headed by Lou Debella, promoter in these parts as he takes another right hand and Debella on his feet. And they must be very worried about this perfect record, the WBC number two. He has almost gone here, Adam. He's, he's loose on his feet. This guy's nearly over. From Aleem. But still, he comes forward showing courage here. Hitrov to get through and try and back up his opponent after a torrid, torrid start on this huge stage. Incredible. Sit down. How do you feel? How do you feel? Tell me the truth. How do you feel? Listen to me. You gotta stay to the right, baby. Stay away from his right hand. Check, stay low. Got it? How do you feel? Deep breath, baby. Come on. Deep breath, baby. Gary Stark in there. Tell me the truth. These right hands. One. And then the following. Couple. And it was so close to being stopped. Referee Eddie Claudio. Just a second or two away, probably. Having a really close look then. He had to be. Alim landing some real hurtful looking power punches. Well, Hitrov out here for round two. Has he recovered? We'll find out now. But this is dangerous ground for him. Here's the second round. There's the vacant WBC silver title on the line. The doctor having a look already at Yevgen Hitrov. After the punishment he took in the opening stanza. And on we go. Well, three minutes of drama to begin this 11 stone six tussle. Both men undefeated. The white and red of Emmanuel Alim, who come, came as the heavy underdog, but is a big shots troubling Hitrov who's got the reputation, but it's in danger of all going out the window here in Brooklyn, which has become his home, Hitrov. Well, Alim now really just needs to settle down. Hitrov needs to try and just get into this fight and see if he can make any sort of dint on Alim. But um, he seems okay, Hitrov. It's strange, just working away here, throwing off. Oh, punches. big shot from Hitrov, a left hand, and that shook. Alim. It could be a case of who's got better resistance here because Hitrov is turning the tables. 
upping the tempo and saying, OK, you gave me some, now it's my turn. Well, I think the quality lies more with Hitchcock. He's landing more accurate shots. He's effortless punches here going in to Aleem's jaw. And Aleem backing up now, not looking comfortable or confident at all. And after such a great start for Aleem, this is a massive turnaround in the favour of Hitchcock. Hitchcock's a quality operator. He's looking good, but he still must be feeling the effects on that torrid round one. Good combinations and the crowd rallying behind Hitrov, the Ukrainian, calls himself the Lion, based here in Brooklyn and finding gaps in Aleem's defence now. It's a cracker, isn't it? Great fight. Strange one as well, Adam. I mean, Aleem's punching power now seems to be fading. And Hitrov's coming forward with these big shots here, left hook and right hook landing. Getting through with powerful, hurtful shots here, Hitrov. And Aleem backed up in his own corner. The pair of them, so desperate to make a big impression. And they've never been pitched in this deep. They're the best opponent each other's fought. Both in new territory here then, Adam. Both in with quality. Hitrov for me is the better operator, the more skillful, the more quality, the more relaxed. And Aleem's on his back foot here. The momentum now seems to be with Hitrov. Even following that terrible first round, he just seems in more control here. Aleem's looking to be on his back foot, to pick shots. He's landed a few shots, but there's no real power on his punches anymore. But he was a former world amateur champion. Uh, Yevgen Hitrov. There's the pedigree, the quality. And that's a round back in his favour, how he needed it. A firestorm for six minutes here so far. The uh, hot favourite and the much fancied uh, Yevgen Hitrov was in a serious bother with some solid right hands from Emmanuel Aleem in the early minute or two of the fight on the verge of being stopped in dramatic fashion. And remember, he's targeting Gennady Golovkin. He wants to fight Golovkin after Golovkin's matchup with Danny Jacobs in March in New York. And he came back well in the second round. Hitchov backing up Aleem. What happens next? Well, that's exactly what Hitchov is doing. He's backing up Aleem, pushing him back. Aleem will be feeling the pace more he'll be more uncomfortable and this these sort of tactics will wear him down and eventually see him stopped if this carries on already he looks wild and woolly though doesn't he standout amateur but there are uh, gaping holes in the defense of Hitrov. but he's going to be in some exciting ones very excited he's yes he's too too happy to take shots big holes in his defense doesn't seem bothered at all about getting hit. Good right hand, though, drilled through from Hitchoff. Just looking to uh, almost force his way through the defence of Emmanuel Aleem, throwing a huge amount of punches. Forcing his way through, Adam, but there's real quality about his work. Nothing's wasted. Just pouring with a the jab there, backing up Aleem, but when he decides to go to work, he doesn't miss with much, does he? Just look back at his corner there, Aleem. As if to say, Great what shot. is this? Gonna hold the left hook he comes back with was an absolute beauty. And Hitchcock down for the first time in his life. And that was the answer from Emmanuel Aleem. He took his lumps and came back again. And there's 45 seconds of the third round for Hitchrov to get through. Almost halted in the opener. Could he be here? Aleem's going to go for it. Can Hitchrov survive again, Carl? He looks like he probably can, but what another twist in the tail here. I mean, what a great shot there from Aleem. Landing flush, putting Hitchrov on the seat of his pants, shaking his head in disgust that he got a caught with the shot, but he had to take it. And again, he marches forward. Unbelievable powers of recovery, but... Oh, and now he goes, Aleem. Shaken, back with the right hand. And Aleem trapped on the ropes. And he's on the verge himself of being stopped. 
five seconds left in one of the great rounds of boxing. And the crowd on their feet. Sometimes you just can't script this sport. Astonishing. Well, we all have our favorite rounds through boxing history, and I wonder if this will be one of the best of 2017, even as early as this. A left hook putting Kitrov down heavily in the third round, but somehow again, the powers of recovery from this, where he looked out, but it was almost Diego Carellas against Jose Luis Castillo one. That is how it's looking. What an unbelievable fight that was to be compared to. You just don't know what's going to happen now here in this fourth round. You go see him, you go see him. Well, the referee just calming things down. And now Emmanuel Alim has to see the doctor. In fact, they're both seeing the doctor in either corner. I think this might be a new thing, Adam. We've seen this a couple of times. Fighters being made to take steps here and look almost a drunk test where they, they look to make sure they've got the balance and they've got they're coherent it's nice to see it's good to see the safety of the boxer is paramount but i can't say i've ever seen this checking and double checking but already both fighters have absorbed so much punishment just to recap hitrov in bad trouble in the first round alim Aleem's favour, while well, the reply was instant from Hitrov, and suddenly the Virginian was uh, backed up on those ropes, and he needed the bell, it came, and on we go. Who's going to win this? <laughs> How can you ask me that, Adam? Hitrov doing more of the same, backing up Aleem here, walking forward, landing shots, but you can't write off Aleem making Hitrov walk into one of them big shots and hurting him. Hitrov with 12 knockouts on his record, Aleem with nine. This is the big test, really, for the pair of them. The WBC silver title on the line, but it's Hitrov who's ranked by the governing bodies. It's he who the promoters want to move forward into the uh, mega fights. But could Emmanuel Aleem still pull off the upset? Well, we're only in round four here. It feels like we're at the end of the fight in round 10. There's been that much action. Real classic three rounds there. Another right hand from Aleem. Tell you what they're going to have to do, the Hitchroff team, and that's go back to the gym and look at his defence. Because he, could you imagine if he was sharing the ring with Triple G? Taking too many punches there, that would be devastating for him, taking power off Triple G. Still, he wades forward, having... No regard, really, for the power of Aleem, despite being knocked down. And Aleem looking for that one big shot on his back foot, really. But That's having right. to take more punches here, Aleem. And I wonder if Hitrov just has more stability about him. And will just find a way here. Shipping punches once more. Emmanuel Aleem. He needs something from somewhere to keep Hitrov off him. Will he find it again? The crowd lapping this up. And I don't blame them. Looking so relaxed and comfortable here, Hitrov. Walking forward, backing up Aleem, but that, just waiting for that counterpunch to land because Hitrov's defence is very leaky and dangerous at times. And Aleem is looking for that counter right hand. Real drama all the way through these first four rounds. Both fighters with their success, both having difficulty with their defenses and with taking punches. You gotta stay low, you're walking to the high. He can catch you with lucky shit, you hear me? Stay low, baby. 
They want him to stay low, Petrov. What about in the other corner? You got to get your lifeline going. Your lifeline is your jab. Get your jab going and work your angles with this guy. You can take this whole round on. You know what I'm saying? But what I need you to do, I need you to gather yourself. And that's not what you're doing. You got me? Gather yourself, says George you Peterson in, in the red corner alongside us. We're trying to gather ourselves. We have Get a bit of breath we're back. We're what we're a front. start to this undercard middleweight fight. Round number five. This uh, firestorm between uh, Yevgen Hitrov, the Ukrainian based in Brooklyn now, and Emmanuel Alim. Floyd Mayweather was saying to us this week, someone's O has got to go. Well, how they both are trying to save that from happening and somehow find a way of getting through this, becoming victorious, the chosen one on the back of the white and red of Emmanuel Alim and the lion, Yevgenit Hitrov, with the reputation and all the hopes. Well, they've given us a real humdinger here so far. Alim just on his back foot, using his boxing a bit, which is nice to see. Just getting that jab out, making some room for himself, because when he's on the ropes in the corner, he's taking too much punishment from Hitrov. Nice, smooth boxing from Alim, but you just get the feeling that when Hitrov gets there in range... Well, he was the excellent amateur, lost to Anthony Agogo in the London Olympics. It was 18 apiece. But he uh, was defeated on the count back, even though that was level at 52 apiece second time around. So razor thin, lost to a go go, but he's probably fought the better opposition as a pro, Hitrov. And I wonder if that will just stand him in slightly better stead as this one ticks by. Just more solid feel to Hitrov, Carl. Really solid, looks very tough and hard. Takes a good shot. I know he's been over, but he's recovered very well. And he looks, he looks like the fighter is in control. And looks like the fighter that, you know, he's, he's got that air of confidence about him. But he's been over. He's been hurt. And Alim's still dangerous. The chosen one, Alim, just on his back foot, trying to box, trying to land shots. Not having much success at all here. Maybe biding a bit of time. Just looked out of the ring there, Hitrov. Maybe it's some of the fans. He's got plenty here as Alim whips in a right hand. There's plenty to like about Emmanuel Alim. Even if he doesn't get the job done here, there's qualities. I'll tell you what, you'd see this again, a rematch, wouldn't you? It's not over yet. Left hand from Alim. Probably more coming in the last few minutes from Yevgen Hitrov. But still a lean, dangerous, with that left hook. He's just been backed up here, Aleem, for the whole round, and he's taken a few shots. Not a drastic round for him, but this round slipped away from him. Yep, Hitrov's round just walked him down. Aleem, pressure, pressure, pressure. second half of this uh, exciting 10-rounder in the middleweight division. The 28-year-old uh, Yevgen Hitrov and the 23-year-old youngster Emmanuel Alim. Both hoping to remain undefeated. And both have been on the verge of defeat on uh, one or two occasions. Swinging one way, then the other. Aleem still trying to get that left hand out, but more coming back now from Hitrov. How on earth are you scoring this, Carl? Yeah, it's close, very close. Nice counter punch in there from Aleem, but he's on his back foot here, taking too much punishment. I've got Aleem down by one round. Oh, good shot from Aleem! He's going to take him out there! That was a really heavy fall from Hitrov, and he's straight back up on his feet. I don't know how he did that. The first knockdown in the third round was on the seat of his pants. That wasn't. And his legs 
are betraying him here. And surely, Carl, the referee's got to think about stopping it here and now. Right hand from Aleem. It's going to be over for Heatrov. He's a big record, a big smoke. And look what it means to Emmanuel Aleem after an absolute barn burner here in New York. A middleweight sizzler. And it is Emmanuel Aleem who was on the verge of being stopped himself who somehow dug deep and found the shots to end the fight. Yevgen Hitrov was coming on the last couple of rounds. He seemed to have found a way to have found an answer. I think he was averaging 110 punches a session, Hitrov. But again, he walked into punches. The defense was wound wanting and Aleem wins. Incredible. Unbelievable performance from both fighters. But Aleem just landing that shot and making all the difference. I thought the momentum was within Hitroff, the quality of punches, the confidence with Hitroff, but there was always that danger that it could go over and it was over a couple of times. And Aleem, by this time there, landed a cracking combination of punches. Heavy knockdown. I mean, his legs are gone here. Two right hands put him over. And Aleem, I think, knew there that that was probably going to be over. He got up so quickly, didn't he? He got up too quickly, really. There's a right hand there, looping right hand, jab. Aleem sees this here. Two right hands, heavy shot, second one to the back of the air, really disorientates you. And he got up, but he wasn't recovered. And Aleem doing the right thing and finishing it in good quality. Let's say it was quality performance there from the chosen one, Aleem. Are we going to get many more dramatic fights in 2017? We've got some wonderful matches through the year. But what a start. I was just not expecting that in a 10-rounder, but so much at stake between two top-quality fighters. And that really was a barnstormer.